right, welcome back. Ugh. Yeah, this is my third vlog for today. Which, I got to go disconnect some fire stuff that I got sitting outside hooking up because it is starting to rain. Last vlog, I was uh, going to the parts store and I did get the parts. I do need to get one more flex line to even things out on the other side. They only have one and I'll figure out get it later. And I was planning on uh, get something to eat afterwards, which uh, I realized that I didn't have any headphones with me. Huh? Left them at the house. I got too excited about me having my money back. Anyway, I figured I'd just run it up the road up to Five Low and uh, give me some uh, headphones up there. Which I'm going to say right now was a big, big mistake. <clears throat> I figured, you know, this time of the day, Black Friday. Traffic wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> and that area, which is uh, where the Walmart and the mall and Pablo, all that is in there. Oh my goodness. It took me an hour just to go through a drive through or driveway to get back to the road. Where was that? If I just cut off, went a different way, I would have been fine. Bumper the bumper traffic. So I went up to a local place, which is where I eat. Well, when I stopped at the Kroger uh, up here and uh, got some headphones. <coughs> that I'm going to keep in the car. Made a little bit more for them than what I would have if I blow, obviously. But really nice and comfortable. Which I am actually going to take out of my pocket right now and put it in here. I always try to keep a pair just in case uh, I'm off somewhere decide to stop by a restaurant and eat I can watch videos. I forgot that I took all those out because the last one I took out so I could uh, listen to the radio while I drive my motorcycle. Now I didn't do the vlog because of all that. It's because I uh, just ain't got done eating. It's almost actually 5 o'clock. I think I left out at 2.30. And all I done was stop there and up to Kroger and then uh, stop at my local restaurant that I like to eat at uh, got me something to eat there and started heading home and uh, it was raining now the charger I got on my truck all I got to do is just close the hood I I'll be fine on that but any charger however that I got charging my uh, cousin's car is sitting on the ground trash, I guess, in the middle of the road. Not the safest place to do that. I barely did see them because of how the rain is. It's misty rain. Got the light was on, but it still is making it things darker and harder to see. really safe for them to be picking it up while they're parked in the middle of the road. Especially at this time of day. Yeah, if that ended up being one big, big mistake. But at the part of the store, like I said, I did get the flex by I got one of them. That way I could hook it up to the part that's so tight. And I was planning on doing it after I got home. 
uh, did give me a little dessert. I figured while well, I eat it at home, which I am noticing I should have put a lid on it. Because it's starting to look like it's trying to go over the cup. It's a frosty. And the uh, first thing I'm going to have to do. <coughs> Excuse me. First thing I'm going to have to do when I get home. Uh, after I put this in the house. I'm going to have to go outside and uh, disconnect the one down the Volkswagen and post the hood. Not like I do like a sell on the truck. It's just close the hood. I can leave it plugged up and charging and see if it's charged. I mean, I left it charging overnight, but when I was checking it earlier, when the battery cable was it, uh, tight, so uh, that may or may not, and I was like, still it isn't charging up like it should. Then I realized I left the switch on. And it wasn't dead because the switch was on, it just I. I was testing something out to make sure I had power going through it and I forgot to turn the switch back off while I was doing it. <clears throat> I think that's when I found out the uh, when the cables was uh, loose because the charger was showing that the battery was charged and then when I hooked it up it wasn't showing nothing. Which after I let it sit for a while I come out my charger wasn't none of the lights was showing except for the power. And I couldn't understand why that's because the my switch was left on. Now this rain didn't supposed to start until tomorrow. And actually, I'm surprised it's actually coming down to ass rain right now. I don't know how cold it is, but it's it's been a cold day. <clears throat> It could very well turn to snow or ice later on the night. My goal was to do the brakes, get the brakes on both vehicles done, which is a C10 and a Volkswagen Beetle today. So, because it's supposed to rain tomorrow, I end up I need to get nothing done on it because I was working on the uh, battery trying to charge them up. Now her battery pretty much charged up uh, but the charger has a thing where I can put jump it. Uh, so I jumped it a few times and that helped boost up the uh, charges and was able to crank it up and run it for a little time. Luckily, it looks like it hasn't rained that much up here. If you heard, wondered what that little ding was, that is from my PayPal account where I used my money to buy stuff at a restaurant. Oh no, it should have come up with the, where I went to Kroger and I uh, got a few things too, like the ear headphones and uh, I got me a chocolate bar. One of the Reese's chocolate bar. Oh. I'm not a big fan of the chocolate, but I love Reese's. And I like the bars. Because you get up with more chocolate. Anyway, I'm on a in here try to stay warm especially considering my feet finally warmed up and uh rest up and hopefully maybe tomorrow it'll be clear first thing i do, gotta do like i said is disconnect that charger which luckily i got her hood down but i still got my hood up so but i'm, I'm gonna have to go in and put this in the house first so i don't drop everything but when i was uh at the parts store I made sure to buy every clamp the size I need. I bought every one I had left. I bought four because I remembered I needed some. Uh, and I was going to buy a few extras anyway, but the uh, Justin Pipe, it comes with one clamp. 
I was like, well, I won't need that many, but then I got thinking, I was like, hmm, I'm going to go ahead and buy them just in case I need them. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.